everyone, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute. This week I did a little bit of shopping and I was at American Eagle and found such adorable things that I felt like I should share it with you. So I'm going to do a mini haul and then show you how to do some last minute cute Valentine's nails. Okay, um, most of this is jewelry. Some of it is a little bit different. Um, the first thing that I absolutely love came in even this cute little case is these heart sunglasses. Um, all of their sunglasses are $10. I love that because sunglasses are always going to get lost or broken and I have this personal thing that I don't like to pay more than say $15 for a pair of sunglasses because they always go somewhere or get broken. Um, the next thing are these. I just don't think they get any cuter than these little XOXO um, earrings and I had to laugh at myself because um, I was like well there's two pair on here so um, my daughter and I can each have a pair and then I thought oh well if you have two holes on each ear it, I was a little slow there as a mom so anyway if you have multiple piercings you can have XO in each ear how cute will that be Okay, the next thing I just totally fell in love with were these bracelets. I just about died. This one is a um, silver cuff bracelet that says Dreamer, and this one says All for Love, because we all dream about love, right? And so um, those, I wanted this all to flow together, so I found this pack of bracelets as well that had some of the browns and crystals and gold, and then I found this watch as well on the clearance aisle that was um, silver and gold so we're seeing a theme there and then you can see how the XO earrings combine all of that together really cute as well. There's a couple of hair accessories that I found that are perfect for that bohemian look. Um, these were three dollars as well and I got two of them because those were the only two colors they had and I just thought they were so dang cute. Um, you could also wrap these around and use this as a bracelet. Um, it doesn't even have to go in your hair. So I'll have um, some cute pictures with this video as well so you can see how I used them. And then the last thing that I got was this adorable pack of nail polish and I thought this would be the cutest final detail to all of our Valentine season this year with all of the tutorials that I've done for you guys. So I painted my daughter's nails and I have one last little nail tutorial. I'm going to show you how I used these polishes on my number two daughter Megan who graduated last week. Now if you would draw your attention to my neck care, you can see this adorable little necklace. It's a little love necklace. It was only $3.50 on the clearance. And my adorable sweatshirt that I thought looked very Valentine-y, a little romantic. You also have noticed I did a different hairdo today that's a little more romantic as well. I brought Bella in to be a model for me today. I wanted to show you one of the ways that we use the little headband. It's just simply tied on after we did loose waves to her hair. And then we also have her nail design to show you. So for this nail design, we used all of the polish that came in the kit that we bought. And I will show you how we did that with my older daughter. But I wanted to show you how this one turned out. We did all of the nails the same except for this finger. And I think those are pretty darn cute. And she loves them too, don't you? Yep. I'm so excited to have my Maggie with me today. She did what last week? Graduated. She graduated early and I'm so proud of her. She's here and we're planning all kinds of things, um, doing senior pictures and doing announcements and planning a graduation party. So look for things to come about graduation soon, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. So in this pack of nail polish that we got, it basically comes with one solid color and then three different choices of sparkles that can go on top. So we have already started, if you'll put, we did one hand and then we just went ahead and started by putting the base pink coat, which was this one, all over um, her fingers. 
and so we were testing to see which glitter we liked the best and we decided on all of them so this is what we did is the pinky and the thumb we put and this one is the only one this uh, really light glitter is the only one that is a hard to show up so you have to really dig around in there and make sure you have some of it on your brush so as you can see right there I do have some sparkles finally on my brush and try and get those on there and then get the excess off that's the only one that was a little bit more difficult to work with so I'm gonna get some more and put that on the thumb as well we used this glitter on the ring finger and I love how this one turns out. It has an iridescent base to it with some really pretty rose colored bigger glitter in it. And on all of them we're going to use two coats. This uh, middle finger we're leaving solid pink and then the pointer finger we're doing with this fine rose colored glitter. pictures of everything that I showed you today you can go to showmecute.com from our finely manicured house to yours we wish you a very happy Valentine's Day and we love you so much bye bye